Hello. Good evening. We're back with the Monday edition of Ideas on Point. So good to be here again. We will be talking about the after effects of COVID in today's edition. But before we get into the conversation, I wanted to quickly remind you that we are live on Facebook and we're live on YouTube as well. You can follow us on Instagram at TCSAN2 and also behind the scenes, our Superman Ali Nizami will be running this telecast today. And of course, we will be live now, but I understand a lot of people can't watch it live. So you can watch us later. Our videos are uploaded on YouTube. They are uploaded on Facebook as well. And sometimes they're uploaded on Instagram as well, depending on the um, topic. But today we'll be talking about the after effects of COVID. COVID is a disease that impacts you physically, of course, but there are mental impacts to the disease as well. Living with COVID, it doesn't matter if you actually had COVID or did not have COVID. Uh, family members of people who went through COVID, uh, family, uh, friends of people who went through COVID, or rest of us who may not have had um, any direct contact or direct association with anyone who had COVID or may not have experienced the symptoms or any of that but just living with you know just the mental impacts of what we're hearing in the news the lockdown etc etc we're going to talk about all of that with our two guests today Jay Chaudhary and Sajad Mirza who is representing PCHS today but before we do that we have added a new segment into our updates we're going to do a local community update every day Monday to Friday hopefully every day, if we're able to get some uh, community news that is worth sharing. So we wanted to talk about something that is very close to my heart, a toy drive. And for that, I am going to invite to the stream, Mr. Jasraj Hallen, who is an MP uh, in Forest Lawn. Hi, Jasraj. Hey, Roop, how are you? I am very good. Thank you so much for making the time to be with us. I know it was last minute and you did it. First and foremost, a big congratulations uh, on this new platform you started. It's so much needed right now. And I think you're doing an amazing job. You're a great role model for the up and coming next generation of people. And, and you know, this is the way things are going. So congratulations. And I hope like nothing but success for, for this platform. That's all I can say. You're amazing. I, I mean, I had the opportunity to get to know you during your, um, I think the first time when you were running for MLA in Calgary McCall. And unfortunately I couldn't be a part of the Calgary Forest Lawn campaign as much because I had my back issues at the time. But your prayers what, were there. I'm sorry? Your prayers were there. Yes. <laughs> no. But um, it just, it doesn't matter what party you run from. It doesn't matter what platform you run with. For me, it's just the fact that it was you and you're an honest person. You're always such a humble, um, you know, down to earth and really approachable is what makes you so special. And I really wish with all my heart that you continue the great work that you're doing. And this toy drive that we're, we're going to be talking about today is a part of that. So let me pull the poster up for it here and sure. you can talk about it. Well, I, I just want to respond to the very kind words you had. I just want to say that you're absolutely right. It doesn't matter what, what party any is, anyone is from. I actually encourage, that's how we should get the youth more involved. We should put them on boards of different mm -hmm. parties, whatever values that they feel like, because we need representation of all communities in all parties, because mm -hmm. that's what's going to make our community grow. I think you've been a great faucet for that or facet for that for youth to get involved and not even just in politics, but getting involved in this, This again, this platform, it shows the next generation to break out of your our little cells and to be able to do something for the community at large. So thank you. Thank you, you're so sweet. We're, we're um, patting each other's back now. While we're doing that, let's talk a little bit about um, the toy drive here. So tell us more about this. Sorry, I'm Abs covering your face. Absolutely, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I get bored of seeing myself all the time, and unfortunately, the people are going to have to see more of me on the poster. But um, so, with uh, Guru Skirpa, God's absolute grace, there was two reasons why we did this toy drive. Um, one of them is obviously because of COVID. We did a, our first annual Christmas party last year. We did raise funds there, and we gave it to charity. This mm -hmm. year, um, we wanted to do it because of COVID. A lot of 
children in the hospital, Alberta Children's Hospital, can't see their loved ones because of the restrictions on how many people can come in. That was one of the main things, and you touched on a very important point that I hope we can maybe at some time talk a little bit more about, but it's about mental health. And mm -hmm. the mental health on children inside the Alberta Children's Hospital due to all this is impacting them uh, a lot. And I see that in my own older daughter that COVID restrictions at school have really um, affected her, uh, her mental health. So providing supports to her. So this was just a small way for us to give back. And with God's grace, we've had such an amazing turnout from constituents and all over uh, Calgary, people just either calling us to pick up toys. We've raised a hundred hundreds of toys so far. And my second reason why I wanted to do it to the Alberta Children's Hospital this year was um, it's something that is close to my heart. I spent four months with my little daughter in that hospital. Uh, she had multiple surgeries. We almost lost her um, at, at two points during that time. And being in that hospital really made it very clear that there are so many people in worse off situations than what we are. Hopefully this brings them just a little bit of joy during this time. So it, it is a very personal thing for me to be able to do this. But again, we can't do this without the um, community support. And we've just, I'm so humbled by how much support we've received from everywhere. Yeah, no, I, I remember when your daughter was in the hospital. I think it was around the time when uh, elections, um, the first yeah, the time we were running. Absolutely. Provincial so elections. I remember we remember I remember to, I, I didn't talk to you about this, but I remember having this conversation with a friend about your uh, just resilience, just the fact that you have a child in the hospital and you're out there. I think it was during the nomination process. If I'm uh, right. Absolutely. So I was making yeah. nominations calls while holding yeah. her. But you know what? It's it wasn't the just resilience. I've, I saw within children how resilient they are. You're a mother. You, you know this full well but also from just the support you get from the hospital, from the communities, mm -hmm. you know, that really keeps you going. And it's another fact that we should touch on that. We know we're all going through a tough time right now. We, this is also an opportunity for us to work on our mental health, reach mm -hmm. out to each other and us being leaders. And I mean, talking to the community at large, we should be reaching out to people we think that need the help. Because mm -hmm. sometimes it's just about reaching out. And that's why I kind of lost my throat. I try to reach yeah. out to constituents to see where they are uh, with their lives as much as possible. And, and you know what? Until you communicate with them, you won't know. So yeah. it's just a, a humble being thing, a humble ask for everyone. Just reach out to as many people, especially our seniors. They're suffering the most right now. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this some other day when you're feeling Absolutely. better. Absolutely. Sorry, I, I just had, I just wanted to yeah. get that out there. No, I think that's fantastic. I, I think you touched on a lot of key points that I do want to talk about in detail as well. So I never even thought of this. I think we should have this conversation at a later point. I, um, I also would encourage the day. you yeah. to bring on some young people on maybe like a panel of three or four that yeah. are are that have gone through depression, have gone through mental health issues that are still working on them because mm -hmm. their stories may full well inspire others that are watching it. You know, yeah, like, and and that's the way of speaking out. It takes a lot to speak out. And yeah. for them to do that, it'll break a lot of barriers. Yeah, let's have this conversation for sure. Anytime. But thank you so much for showing, for showing up, for coming here last week. Anytime. <laughs> and uh, just a plea, we are, we are dropping off the toys on Wednesday. We're collecting up until tomorrow. If you would like us to pick up toys that are uh, unwrapped, and uh, not opened, uh, there's the address. Uh, you can call us at 403-207-3030. More than welcome. And we can either come to pick them up or socially distanced. You can just drop them off and uh, right by the tree that's in our office. And I just want to say. Yep. It's by uh, December 15th. That's tomorrow, correct? Tomorrow, yeah. We're just collecting so until tomorrow, tomorrow evening. Tuesday. If people have, like, we're dropping them off on the 16th on Wednesday. If people have toys on the 16th, Give us a call. We'll go and pick them up from wherever you are. We're okay to do that as well. And they have to be new toys. They have to be packed toys. They have to be like stuff that you buy from a store or get. Absolutely. Them Absolutely. Every and little toy counts. Every little toy counts for sure. Thank you so much, Mr. Raj. Really, really. Thank you. And I really appreciate you giving me the time. This means a lot to me. And I hope again, like with God's grace, nothing but success. 
and Guru Maharaj Hovi Trakniya Bakshan in, in your platform to grow and inspire the next generation of leaders. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take Bye. care. Bye. Bye. And that was just Raj Singh Helen, who is an MP in Forest Lawn. They have a toy drive, like just Raj mentioned. Um, you can drop the toys off at his office. So I will put that poster up again. Their office is at 225 28th Street Southeast. So toy drive basically means if you have a brand new toy, toy deco koi toy, hai, to you have the office, you can drop it. Um, toy drive hai, please, please, please go help and support them. Thank you so much, just Raj again. And also, we are having our own uh, giveaway as well, Christmas group giveaway. I'm going to talk briefly about that. So we're having our own Christmas giveaway, which means that if you like and share this video, we will be putting you in a draw for prizes, $200 gift cards, and they are generously sponsored by Realtor Piyush Girdar, 403-590-8595, or iCalgaryRealtor.com, and also by Gurjot Valia, 403-335-5555, for all your IPTV needs. You don't need to look at anywhere else. You don't need to look anywhere else. You need to call Gurjot Valia for anything that you need to do with IPTV, really. And of course, the, um, the draw for these prizes will be on Christmas Eve, which is December 24th. And you can win up to two gift cards, $100 gift cards. So please like and share this video. And you may as well, you know, buy your son or daughter or yourself a nice little present on Christmas Eve. Why not? All right, let's move on to the topic of today. Like we said, we're going to be talking about the after effects of COVID. I am going to add to the stream right now my friend, longtime friend, actually. I would say since 2014. Great. I think I've known you for a very long time, Jay. Jantha Chaudhary. I think he needs no introduction in uh, Calgary community at all. He has been with Red FM for a very long time. He is the Bengali host there and as well as he is also running a U-turn project, a nonprofit uh, organization that I think has its presence uh, everywhere throughout the year, doing a lot of programming in Genesis. We see you in Genesis Center quite a bit, doing a lot of informational programming, educational programming, very heavily engaged with the political discourse in the province as well. Welcome, Jenta. Thank you very or should much. I call you Jay. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here, Jay. I understand like you've gone through a lot in the last few months. Uh, it's been a long ordeal. I remember when I first heard that you were in the ICU, this was in March and it came from a mutual friend and um, I kept tabs on it every single day. We were having this conversation before we came in. I We spoke to each other every single day about Jay. It just seems so surreal that Jay, this guy who is like always so active and he is such a force, a uh, powerful force in the community and he is an ICU. And it's just, some, I don't know, I, I still think back to it and I, I, I can't express how I felt or how all of us, like anyone who has been associated with you felt. So I'm just so, so happy to see you here. I'm so happy that you made it through and you're doing so well. And uh, all right, so I'm not gonna talk about what you went through during the process, because I know you have spoken about it on multiple platforms, which thankfully you did because it, people need to come out and talk about it despite the stigma. So you have to be brave and you have to share your stories so that other people get inspiration from it or get motivation, or, you know, encouragement that they will pull through. Um, but what I do want to talk about is your time since that experience. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling now, mentally, physically? Right. Um, the, the, you know, mentally and physically is totally two different aspects for me. Let's mm -hmm. talk about mental. You know, there is something called PTSD. And sometimes we feel that this post-traumatic, uh, you know, social disorder is only happens to people who are in the army who mm -hmm. goes, you know, to to war field, war zone and come back and then they are PTSD and not general public can actually go through that. You know, this Corona is actually, uh, people have gone through this PTSD, the aftermath of Corona. And I tell you why. The biggest challenge in our South Asian community is that we don't want to speak out about, uh, about our experience of what happened. 
But I'm so glad that yesterday, and I want to recognize, you know, Burhan Khan. Actually, he spoke to me about four days ago. And this is the first time I saw almost twice these two families from the Pakistani community actually came up in public. And yesterday they were saying that about 10 days ago, they, they all, the whole family was positive and they're speaking up now. So I'm so glad. So even though I don't speak, now my work is done. And they saw me as an example. I'm coming out in public because this can save life of so many people. And especially talking about the mental disorder. You see, what happened when COVID kills, it kills you very slowly. And slowly in a sense that you don't know that you're actually walking on fire, but it will just suddenly come up at some point. You know, it's like a burning sensation, right? Like, you know, when you have your hand on a, on a pan, you really don't feel the pain, but the moment you move your hand and then the pain actually comes, right? So COVID is something like that. Mm -hmm. For me, you know, uh, it just became like this, just like a fraction of a second. I just passed out and then went to a coma, which, uh, of course, people have heard, and I'm not going to repeat that. But you see that fear is actually the stigma and the fear, you know, stays on you, thinking mm -hmm. that what's next? Mm -hmm. uh, where am I on the queue? What will happen to me next? Because it just went like bang, just like a bang, you know. And, and then sometimes, you know, uh, the mental part is sometimes we think, not only me, people I have spoken to who have not came to public from South Asian community, and they say the same thing. They say, what will happen to me? What will happen to my job? If I don't have a job, I will be more mentally depressed. People say that, you know, people look at me that I had COVID, so they don't come to my house. Of course, now nobody can go. But this I'm talking sometimes in July mm -hmm. during Canada Day and in and around that time. So they feel that they are labeled in the society that, you know, he's a COVID guy. Don't go back to him. Don't go to his family. Don't meet him. Don't visit him. Maybe we don't know. He still he still have, you know, that that virus in him and in his family. Mm -hmm. So that kind of stigma is still in our in our culture. Mm -hmm. And what happened then there's a cycle of um, a mental depression that people go through. But you know, in our culture, in South Asian culture, whether we are from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Bhutan, wherever you're from, we have something which is called, you know, in, in Hindi, in Punjabi and Urdu, I'm sure, you know, Ijjat ki sawal hai, Ijjat ki baat hai. So if I say that, I don't want to get into that, you know, the whole victimization process. Rather, I keep it to myself and don't become in public. So that also you have in mind, and you're mentally more depressed in that. You cannot do things that you were doing. You cannot go and meet your relatives uh, that you have been meeting. And as you know, in our culture, it's a meet and greet society. So we mm -hmm. cannot do that. We cannot do and, you know, do usual things. You cannot go to a gym. You cannot go to play soccer. You cannot go outside. So all these things are so new to us. It's kind of you're in a jail. And I think most of us, I would say majority of us, you know, we don't have the jail experience. So when we are actually blocked inside, when we are locked down inside, it's not a lock. I, I don't like to say lockdown. I would like to say lock up. You know, mm -hmm. lock up is a better word than lockdown. We are literally not locked down. We are locked up in a jail. So this whole new experience of, you know, how do you feel when you're totally disconnected uh, in a society where society promotes a greed and meet and greet experience, right? Mm -hmm. So mentally, that's one of one of the thing and you said the other thing was one is mental and the other one is physical now many of the covid positive pe people from south asia very healthy i know i, I know someone who's covid positive had the six packs you know felt like one of those bollywood star and he just hit so hard he almost died and looking at him you know he said same thing for all of us here and because people are not speaking up, they're not coming out in public, we don't know what are the side effects. You go to a doctor, doctor says, I don't know what is the side mm. effect. There are some effects, we don't know. So everything that's coming up, you know, somebody said, I felt like I have an elephant of my, in my chest. So the doctor says, yes, that's a side effect. Somebody says, sometimes I feel very weak. Okay, so that's a side effect. So this is a new list that you're just adding on and on and on and on and on. Nobody knows, the doctor don't know. You know, sometimes, we say, who are COVID positive, we say, oh, we are good for one year. So you can come to my house, you can meet me. I am not going to spray COVID mm -hmm. virus upon you because I am safe. Mm -hmm. You will be not safe because you may get it, but I am safe. We don't know. We don't know. There are some repeat cases all over the world. 
and I think I only know about three. One was in Hong Kong, and I think one was in, in Russia too. Brazil, Russia. Russia. So I know three, and I think there are a total of three or four like that, of course. Uh, I think there was one in South Korea as well. So South there's very really rare. It just happens very right. really rarely. So, but I think what I'm hearing a lot, a lot is COVID long, which is um, a lot of people are getting heart problems as a result of whether you're um, like that Bollywood hero that you talked about, six pack or muscles and you're really fit. Uh, it does not matter. It does not discriminate. It could be anybody. It's just a stroke of luck. They don't know how this virus works, really. So it's just a COVID long living with um, after effects of COVID physically, that is, is uh, it could be a heart disease, it could be any other major organ disease. So I've been yeah. talking to a few doctors and uh, what I hear from them repeatedly is that they're seeing a lot of patients with heart problems. Right. Um, and I said this, this also to a doctor, sometimes doctors said if you have a precondition, then, then you are a serious case, you may not leave. I know people who didn't have any condition and hmm. yet they were very, very, very sick. They lost the test. You know, my son was so hit, badly hit hard for almost a month and a half. All he was surviving is in a glass of water. Everything he eats. Your yeah. son? I thought they were okay. They didn't get any my symptoms. My whole family. My whole family was COVID positive. No, I thought they didn't have any symptoms though. That's oh, what they I had. The eldest one had a symptom, yeah. Oh. Tested. Everything we pay, we tried, what not we tried. We tried from kebabs, we tried from butter chicken, we tried biryani, you name it. Like probably everything in the menu, we tried everything. Italian, Korean, Indian, Pakistani, um, Thai, uh, you know, you, you name it. We tried everything. But every mm -hmm. test like one test, and that is the test of a grass. He says, Daddy, just pick up some grass from the field, you know, from the prairie wind park and chew it. You feel it. This is exactly how we feel. So it took mm -hmm. a month and a half, actually. And sometimes it off and on may not be that way. But a couple of days before he was saying, oh, I feel I'm not having a test. I'm tasteless. So it comes and goes on on, on, on a person. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know, this uh, rumor that we have that what is COVID? So there are two things mm -hmm. that somebody told me, you know, he said for 14 days, just go, you know, sleep, enjoy your day. Moch karo, masti karo, you know. People look from a different perspective this, you know. They think 14 days, I will get paid, I may be in SERP, government will give me money. You know, I work but and work and work. for 14 days. I, we don't know what the long-term impacts are. We don't you know, know what the human know, body is. Effect. You may not even live. Yeah, we maybe don't know. Your musty will end there in 14 days and, you know, maybe in fifth day, your musty and moj and will be, you know, moj karo, musty karo, will be, will be, jannat mein moj karega. Jannat mein musty karega. You know. So it's a lot of, because a lot of people have this concept in our community. If you have COVID, you will have coughing, you may have, have, have chest pain, you may have this or that. All you have to do, stay home, 14 days, you will get paid. You know, maybe a stick leave, maybe disability payment, maybe serve, something you will pay. So don't worry. Huh? Mm. Right. But no one knows what's going to happen five years yeah. down the road. Like, we don't know, right? Why? Yeah yourself i mean with you i remember like at that time it was just the beginning and that it was like we didn't even know of what was happening when it happened with you because the pandemic wasn't even announced at that time i remember like when you uh, contracted it. It, it this was like way back in the day but it, it's just I, I mean i i cannot understand the um reasoning or the i it's it's absolutely incomprehensible to me is when people do not take precautions now after having gone through so much and seen so much in uh, you know close proximity a lot of our family a lot of our friends have gone through this but thank you jay for speaking up i'm going to add to string now um sajad mirza who is also a red fm friend hold up hi sajad you need to turn your mic off your mic's on All right. So Sajad is right now a counselor with the PCHS, but back in the day, he was our friend on Red FM. Well, he still is a friend, but he was a colleague on Red FM. I still can't hear you, Sajad, for some reason. Your mic is not working. Uh, can you hear me now? I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, perfect. You need to talk louder, buddy. Your voice is, I know your voice is really loud and strong. Is it good? Yeah. Let's go pack it. Get back now. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, so we were talking about the physical uh, and mental impacts of COVID. Jay think, has uh, been so we, need to, uh, we need to fix the microphone first and then we can start it. Is the microphone good? Yes. Now? It's better. It's not good. Yeah. It's better Why? now. Okay, let me get the other one. Wait. Okay, chalo. Okay, chalo. Okay. <laughs> So Jay, um, now that it's been a few months since you have gone through this, I would ask the mental, um, like, do you ever wake up in the middle of the night in sweats? Or do you like, do you- Not middle of the night, but actually when you go to sleep, you see, Rook, when you go to sleep and when you will sleep tonight, you don't think that something will happen to you, right? Mm -hmm. You just go to bed, maybe you read a book, maybe you listen to music and automatically you sleep, automatically, right? You don't program yourself that at so and so time I will go to sleep. So you just go to sleep and it's a nature, natural thing, right? And then you woke up in the morning, maybe five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, or sometimes lazy like me, eight o'clock, you know? So you don't program yourself, but more or less you, you wake up without an alarm at the same time. Mm -hmm. So this is what happens when you go to sleep sometimes. And as I said, a lot of COVID positive payments, patient have goes through this PTSD because they have gone through the torture of an ICU so much, in a ventilation so much, that sometimes when you sleep, one question comes in your mind, will I wake up again? Sometimes you want to get up and you want mm. to see your kids. Mm. Maybe you think that I'm watching my wife for the last time, mm. you know, Alvida, right? Those mm. kind of thing comes in your mind. So uh, you, you may think that, well, you know, maybe I will not wake up anymore tomorrow because the way I went to ICU, I. I was there for 25 days and I never woke up. So maybe tomorrow I will never wake up. So sometimes, you know, it's like rubra car. You know, you mm -hmm. just leave, uh, you know. In the this is a quick question. When you're in ICU, when you're out, do you know that you're there? Is there any conscious, like, I have never asked this question to anyone. It, it, I don't know. Like, do right. you, are you aware? Is there right. aware? It is like, you know, near to death experience. Like as many a times people ask this question to many people that, how do you feel when you die? Can you really say nobody died and then came back to life, right? Mm -hmm. so we don't know. But an ICU experience is more or less, you know, it is a, a subconscious experience. You mm -hmm. know, sometimes you faint, right? And when you faint, you have this uh, sound on your ear, like a gong uh, sound. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, you know, you hear things, people are talking, but it's a very hazy thing. Then it's kind of dream that sometimes the dream doesn't connect to each other, you know, and mm -hmm. you can see on the video right now. So you, what you see right now and on the video, of course, I cannot tell you the whole, uh, the para paradigm of, of, of what is subconscious, we, we don't know. So when you go to an ICU, yeah, you hear sound, like I tell you, so I used to hear a sound, you know, like tit 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 tit, and I didn't knew that. So I thought maybe, you know, sapname and then it's, it's a sound like that. But one day, I don't know, accidentally, they were showing something at a, at a CBC and they were showing an ICU. And then suddenly I recall that sound. I said, hey, I used to hear this sound. What is this? You know, and then I went to YouTube and I, I typed in sounds in ICU. And this YouTube was giving so many different kinds of mechanical sound. And I started recalling actually all those days for 25 days and nights. Those sounds are basically the sound that you know, I, I heard uh, mm -hmm. during my uh, ICU days, which is I was totally unsubconscious. Second thing is that, you know, I saw a lady, an Asian lady, and I remember an aged lady at the 65, 70 year old. So uh, you see how subconscious work in ICU. So I remember almost every day around five o'clock is a morning shift and nurse used to come and a Chinese lady. And she always lay her hand right here in my forehead. So I thought maybe, you know, that is a dream. But when my doctor came and told me one day goodbye to me and said that I'm leaving, I'm on a shift, you know, cycle shift, and she will only come back after three weeks. And she said, maybe I will not see you again. And I don't want to see you again here. I mm -hmm. want you to go home. And she said, before I go, I'll let you know, I know my eldest sister is actually one of uh, the nurse who spent most of the time with you. I said, how old is she? And she, she said, my eldest sister is 65 almost. And I said, wow, I saw her in my dream. So it's not really dream. It was a sharp, uh, subconscious, you know, that 
what do you see you hear the sound and then of course you have a lot of dreams you see near and dear ones actually and i saw you know hallucinations so many people near and dear ones you know i saw my wife i saw my kids my eldest kids actually i saw him every day you know he's in the air cadet and he's going to be one of the you know flying officers soon so i saw him actually driving him and you see it doesn't connect right how how, how why you want to drive an adult son to airport to catch his flight to fly so you know i don't know it was a small airport something like a red deer i'm driving him and i'm waiting all day because he's a daddy i'm just going for a short haul just wait for me to take me home you know this kind of dream of course some dream meant subconscious basically not a dream but some dreams some, some dreams are real you know uh, so it it that is all what you see when you are unconscious in an icu so just a quick another question is uh, before i let you go i know you have to go um just quickly what it when you're um when you have been covid positive so you have about two weeks that you are contagious right but when you're in icu you are you still contagious for a long period of time or what's the uh, when do you stop being contagious nobody told me you know that i was contagious i was actually out in the run for almost 12 days baradin ke liye you know i was fully blown covid positive and i've done everything i was in red fm i sat in the chair you know i spoke in the mic knowing that unknowingly of course you know i went to groceries i touched so many things i came home and when i walked through those days which took a long time for me to recall what exactly i did i was a fully blown covid positive right and no nobody knew because there was no signs there were no symptoms but when no you're in time. icu people are not wearing were they wearing the full equipment or do they not need to no. because you know that time, nobody nobody the border was open the school was open nobody even knew covid you know people started coming to know i was the fifth fifth patient in the hospital there was mm-hmm. no one else there so you were a pioneer there as well jay you were a pioneer we needed you there to i was a guinea pig <laughs> you know in fact the doctor told me you were a guinea pig you know because they said they have they have given me all kind of medication whether i need it or not they said you name it you have it in your body you have mm-hmm. diabetes you have uh, you know blood sugar you have a blood thinner you name it i have it and today mm-hmm. you know i feel very sad when our icu is overflowing and they are saying you know i will say i was lucky that 25 days in ventilation my wife said that she she works in the health industry she said nowadays they're not going to keep you for 25 days oh yeah they don't yeah. have space yeah. so yeah. they will only keep you for 4 5 days you know aapko bachna hai to bach jao aapko bachna nahi hai to rab rakha you know we can't help you know allah hafiz so we're we're very happy we're very glad that you're here jay and thank you for sharing your story with us thank you for giving us your time i know you have to go as well yep. but really really appreciate your time thank now you. in the- Yeah, grill the job also sajad bhai you know you will be hearing from a different perspective yeah no i i'm uh, really looking i'm very glad to be here with both of you today and uh, thank you listeners and thank you for giving me this platform to talk to our own people god bless thank you so much jay i look forward to seeing you in person soon hopefully thank you inshallah all right take care Bye. uh that was jay chaudhry and he was uh i think one of the like he mentioned he was one of the first icu patients of covid in calgary and um it, i i still don't have words to explain how it was when we first heard that jay was in the hospital hi sajad oh this is so much hi, okay. i can hear you is it better <laughs> i am so glad That's to have good. you here today cuz i never thought there would be a time when i will be interviewing you online like it's i know like it's been a long time 2014 huh? we were <laughs> co-hosts on a show juggling chatting uh, jumping yeah and that was, everything was done in the <laughs> those good times and never ever thought we'd have yeah. this conversation them and i think i will be calling yeah. you more often kuki um there are many topics surrounding mental health definitely. that we've been definitely opinions on so i'm going to let you start and talk i think uh, you are the best person to tell me about the hmm. impacts of covid on the south asian communities what are you seeing you're working with pchs you are meeting with a lot of people who are going through 
this uh, situation. You uh, are, I think you're doing group sessions as well with people. Yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you are in, in the midst of everything. So yeah, you can yeah. talk to me, talk to me in Urdu, talk to me in Punjabi, talk to me in English, whatever you're It's totally up to you. It's totally up to you. Like. It's, it's up to you. We're going to switch between languages because um, the sure. goal of uh, sure. this platform is to talk to people in all languages. So. I think uh, the people who are watching us, uh, those are South Asian people, and uh, I think it's a good idea. If you can speak in their native language, that would be easier to explain the things. Okay. So, uh, thank you so much for having me. And literally, I'm very excited, and it's very nice to see you. And uh, might be you can say co-hosting together. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, okay. Um, uh, basically, Roop, जो आज का topic है, जिसपे हम बात करें, मैं कोशिश करूँगा कि बिल्कुल उसको आसान शब्दों में, आसान लफ्जों में बयान करने की कोशिश करूँ मैं. आज का जो हमारा topic है, उसको I will be going to divide it into three parts uh, today's conversation. The first will be, uh, let me explain you, let me define you what is mental health. Because when you are in COVID-19 pandemic, we are all going through it directly and indirectly. So, as you have listened to the whole discussion, you will see that somewhere, 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 mental health has a link in it. तो इसलिए जो आज की मेरी डिस्कशन है जिसमें हम बात करेंगे इट इज डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री पार्ट्स व्हाट द फर्स्ट वन इज लाइक व्हाट इज द मेंटल हेल्थ मेंटल हेल्थ है क्या चीज बिल्कुल आसान लफ्जों में समझाने की कोशिश करूंगा फिर उसके बाद हाउ मेंटल हेल्थ कैन बी इंपैक्टेड बाय द कोविड-19 सिचुएशन लास्ट में कुछ टिप्स भी आपसे हम शेयर करेंगे तो मेंटल हेल्थ बेसिकली जो है इसको अगर मैं कहूं इसको जो मेंटल हेल्थ का कांसेप्ट है तीन हिस्सों में इसको डिवाइड किया जा सकता है एक आपका साइकोलॉजिकल सोशल और इमोशनल वेलबींग जब हम इन तीन चीजों को आपस में मिलाते हैं तो आपकी मेंटल हेल्थ बनती है वो अब बात ये है कि अब ये जो तीन मैंने पार्ट्स आपको बताए हैं अब तीन हिस्सों में जब बैलेंस गड़बड़ होता है इनका तालमेल जब टूटता है तो आपके ब्रेन के अंदर केमिकल चेंजेस जो है वो आना शुरू हो जाती है और जब वो केमिकल चेंजेस आपके ब्रेन में आना शुरू हो जाती हैं तो आपके बिहेवियर आपके थॉट्स आपकी फीलिंग्स आपके इमोशंस और आपके जो बिहेवियर्स हैं वो चेंज होना शुरू हो जाते हैं और जब ये चीजें चेंज होती हैं आपके थॉट्स आपके बिहेवियर्स आपके फीलिंग्स आपके इमोशंस तो देन आपकी रोजमर्रा जिंदगी एवरी डे लाइफ इज बींग इम्पैक्टेड ठीक है ये एक एक छोटा सा कॉन्सेप्ट था आसान शब्दों में कि मेंटल हेल्थ जो है वो क्या चीज है अब हम देखते हैं कि ये जो कोविड 19 है जिसकी दूसरी वेव आजकल चल रही है इसने इंसानियत को ह्यूमैनिटी को कैसे इम्पैक्ट किया अब सबसे पहला क्वेश्चन जो जब ये कोविड शुरू हुआ था तो लोगों के जेन में एक चीज थी कि लोगों को पता नहीं था लोग अनवेयर थे कि ये कब तक चलेगा क्या होगा क्या ये हमेशा हमारे साथ रहेगा बच्चे स्कूल जाएंगे अगर नहीं जाएंगे तो उनका पढ़ाई का हर्ज होगा फिर उसके बाद लोग जो हैं किसी ने जानने वाले ने किसी जानने वाले को कोरोना हो गया तो उसकी वजह से हम लोग परेशान हो गए फिर किसी फैमिली मेंबर को हो गया तब भी परेशान हो गए और फिर ये कि कहीं मुझे ना कोरोना हो जाए ठीक है ये सारे सवाल हमारे जहन में हमारे लिए एक स्ट्रेस पैदा करते थे अब ये सवाल भी हमारे जेहन में था कि अब पता नहीं वैक्सीन आएगी अगर आएगी तो ट्रायल में कितना टाइम लगेगा और फिर उसके बाद अब वो भी आ गई है फिर उसके बाद बहुत सारे लोगों के जेहन में ये है कि अब हमारी नौकरी हमारी जॉब रहेगी या ये नौकरी चली जाएगी मतलब ये सारी चीज़ें हमारे जहन में जब आती हैं तो उसके साथ हमारे जो ख्याल हैं हमारे जो थाट्स हैं वो मेंटल हेल्थ घबराहट उदासी बेचैनी या गुस्से को जन्म देते हैं और वजह क्या है कि हमें इन चीजों का इल्म नहीं होता इन चीजों के बारे में हम जानते नहीं हैं तब हमारे अंदर ये फीलिंग्स आना शुरू हो जाती हैं अब बात ये है कि रूप जिस तरह के आपको भी पता है आपका भी बैकग्राउंड साइकोलॉजी में है कि हमारा जो एक सिस्टम है जो कुदरत ने हमें एक सिस्टम दिया है हमारे दो किस्म के सिस्टम है सिस्टम तो बहुत सारे हैं लेकिन एक पैरासिंथेटिक बोलते हैं हम उसको और दूसरा है सिंथेटिक पैरासिंथेटिक वो है जब हम कोई रिलैक्स होते हैं जब हम कोई मूवी देख रहे होते हैं 
ठीक है कोई एक मजेदार कॉफी पी रहे हैं या कोई ऐसा ड्रिंक ले रहे हैं तो जब आप खुशी के मूड में होते हैं तब ये आपका पैरासिम्पथेटिक जो है सिस्टम ये काम कर रहा होता है दूसरी तरफ एक जो सिस्टम है जिसको सिंपथेटिक बोलते हैं या इसको अलर्ट सिस्टम भी बोलते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल अलर्ट सिस्टम वो है कि जब आप घर से बाहर निकलते हैं तो आप अलर्ट होते हैं कि दाएं बाएं से कोई ट्रैफिक तो नहीं आ रही आप सेफ हैं अगर बारिश हो रही है या कहीं आ, कोई हेलिंग हो रही है तो आप अपने आप को महफूज करने की कोशिश करते हैं ये हमारा सिंपथेटिक सिस्टम या अलर्ट सिस्टम हमें इसके बारे में बताता है अब होता क्या है कि कभी कभी हमारा जो अलर्ट सिस्टम है ये बहुत ज्यादा काम करना शुरू कर देता है बहुत ज्यादा से मुराद के नॉर्मल रेंज से ज्यादा होना शुरू हो जाता है और फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर किसी के जहन में ये ख्याल आना शुरू हो जाए जी के आ, मुझे जो है आ, कहीं कोरोना ना हो जाए अब बार बार ये इसकी शिद्दत इतनी ज्यादा इस थॉट की बढ़ जाती है कि उसकी रोजमर्रा जिंदगी उसकी एवरी डे लाइफ जो है वो इम्पेक्ट होना शुरू हो जाती है अब हमने बात करनी है कि जब ये सारी चीजें आ जाए आपकी जिंदगी में क्योंकि हम बात कर रहे हैं स्पेशली कोविड 19 के हवाले से जो इसकी पेंडेमिक सिचुएशन है उस पर हम बात कर रहे हैं तो अभी बहुत सारे लोग सवाल ये भी पैदा होता है हमारे जहन में कि क्या ये लॉन्ग टर्म हमारे साथ ये ख्याल हमारे चलेंगे या हम जहनी तौर पे मानसिक तौर पे कुछ देर के बाद हम ठीक हो जाएंगे बहुत सारे लोग जब हमारे पास आते हैं तो डेफिनेटली उनको जब हम काउंसलिंग देते हैं और जब ये कोविड नाइन्टीन की सिचुएशन की वजह से जब लोगों लोग मानसिक सेहत या मेंटल हेल्थ जब उनकी गड़बड़ होती है तो उसके साथ फिर और भी मानसिक प्रॉब्लम उनके साथ आना शुरू हो जाते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल अगर मैं बात करूं कि एक सॉरी मेरा ख्याल बीच में इंटरप्ट हो गया था थोड़ी देर के लिए नो नो ओके मैं कह रहा था कि अब जब कभी कभी हमारे यहाँ ये होता है कि जब कोविड नाइन्टीन की जो एक सिचुएशन चल रही है उसमें हम मानसिक तौर पे जो मुख्तलि प्रॉब्लम्स हैं उन उनके साथ भी हम स्ट्रगल करना शुरू कर देते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल जिस तरह अभी जे ने भी बताया कि पी टी एस डी पोस्टमेटिक स्ट्रेस डिसऑर्डर जब आपके सामने कोई ऐसी कोई मौत वाली घटना हो रही हो या कोई ऐसी बात हो रही हो वो ख्याल आपके दिमाग में फिर अपने जो है ना वो नकूश अपने नक्श जो है वो छोड़ जाते हैं ठीक है तो उसके साथ होता यह है कि फिर कोविड के साथ रिलेटेड जो मानसिक प्रॉब्लम है जिसको हम ओसीडी कहते हैं ऑब्सेसिव कंपल्सिव डिसऑर्डर मतलब आप बार बार हैं है, तो उसके बहुत सारी चीजें कि बार बार आप लॉक चेक करते हैं बिस्तर बिस्तर की चादर सीधी करते हैं लेकिन अगर मैं कोविड के साथ इसको लिंक करूं तो इस तरह होगा कि लोग बार बार हाथ धोने की उनको आदत पड़ जाती है ओ सी डी कंपल्सिव डिसऑर्डर जो है ना तो अब सवाल ये पैदा होता है कि क्या ये चीज हमारे साथ कब तक चलेगी साइकोलॉजिकली अगर मैं बात करूं दैट इज माय क्वेश्चन लॉन्ग टर्म इंपैक्ट्स ऑफ इट बिकॉज़ एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली यू आर एब्सोल्युटली राइट बिकॉज़ मेरे पास अभी यहां पे ये पड़ा है होल्ड ऑन आई शो यू एंड आई यूज दिस कंसिस्टेंटली जब चाहिए भी नहीं मैं यहां बैठे हैं आई डिडंट गो एनीवेयर देयर इज नो वन हियर कमरे में कोई है नहीं एंड आई कीप एंड आई बाय द टाइम आई गो होम और बाय द टाइम आई लीव दिस रूम माय हैंड्स आर dry my hands are like ready to, itchy feeling and the skin is mm-hmm. not feeling good so so like i always think of that to myself it's like i think we we become so compulsive with these things now and maybe the brain rewires or something yes yes yeah. yes ab abhi aapne kaha na ki is room mein koi nahi hai room mein koi nahi lekin yahan pe ek shakhs hai aapke dimag mein yeah yeah so yeah. us thought ko occupy kiya hua hai ke pichle takriban hum log keh le ke 8 9 mahinon se is cheez ke sath struggle kar rahe hain ठीक है अब ये है कि ये हमारे साथ रूप चलेगा कुछ अरसे के लिए चलेगा और बच्चों के जहन में भी जिस तरह कह लें कि एक पीटीएसडी जिस तरह हम बात करें वो उस लेवल का पीटीएसडी नहीं है लेकिन माइनर लेवल का है कि जिसमें बच्चे जो हैं उनके जहन में ये चीजें रहेंगी जो बच्चे इस बारे में जानते हैं ठीक है जो बच्चे अभी छोटे उनके बारे में तो कुछ नहीं कहा जा सकता लेकिन बड़े भी आपकी उम्र के मेरी उम्र के या हमसे बड़े भी जो है उनके जहन में ये चीज है लेकिन कभी कभी दुख होता है ये चीज जान के भी कि बहुत सारे मेच्योर लोग हैं वो कहते उनके जेन में कॉन्सेप्ट ही कोई नहीं है कोरोना का जी कोरोना इतना तंग ये कुछ नहीं है मैंने कहा जी अगर कोरोना नहीं है तो फिर मेरा ख्याल आप भी कुछ नहीं है तो आपसे बहस करना मेरा बिल्कुल फजूल है no point, yeah. एक और चीज मैं आपको बताऊं रूप यहाँ पे कि इसके असरा की हम इम्पैक्ट की बात कर रहे हैं लॉन्ग टर्म इसके रहेंगे अभी ये हो सकता है कि जिस तरह एक सर्कल होता है ना एक सर्कल चलता है 
آہستہ آہستہ یہ ہوگا کہ ابھی تو اس کی جو انٹینسٹی بہت زیادہ ہے ہمارے ذہن میں تھاٹس کی شکل میں لیکن آہستہ آہستہ یہ چیز کم ہوتی جائے گی لیکن ہوگا یہ کہ جس طرح ایک سرکل ہوتا ہے نا ایک سرکل چل رہا ہے لیکن ایک جگہ پہ جا پہ جا کے ایک پوائنٹ پہ جا کے وہ چیز آپ کی تیز ہو جائے گی ابھی تو ٹوینٹی فور آور یا جب یہ شروع ہوا تھا اس وقت ٹوینٹی فور آور ہمیں خواب بھی اسی چیز کے آتے تھے ٹھیک ہے چلتے پھرتے ہر جگہ ہمیں یہی جو ہے وہ ڈر خوف لگا رہتا تھا لیکن اب دیکھیں کہ جب سے یہ چیز شروع ہوئی ہے آہستہ آہستہ ہمارے دماغ سے یہ چیز کم ہوتی چلی جا رہی ہے اب یہ سیکنڈ ویو آئی ہے انشاءاللہ آپ دیکھیے گا کچھ دیر کے بعد یہ بھی ہمارے ذہن سے آہستہ آہستہ نکلتے چلے جائیں گے ابھی جو میں بات آپ سے کر رہا تھا نا کہ ہمارے اندر مختلف سسٹم ہے قدرت نے ہمیں بڑی محبت کے ساتھ بنایا ہمارے اندر ایک سسٹم ہے فگیٹ فلنس جس کو کہتے ہیں چیز کو بھول جانا ٹھیک ہے یہ بڑی کمال کی چیز ہے اور آہستہ آہستہ ہم ہمارے ذہن سے اس کے جو نقوش ہیں جو اس کے کہہ لیں اس کا جو خیال ہے وہ آہستہ آہستہ مدم ہوتا چلا جائے گا لیکن اگر کہیں پہ جا کے آپ کو لگے کہ آپ کی روزمرہ زندگی آپ کی ایوری ڈے لائف اس سے امپیکٹ ہو رہی ہے آپ کی فیملی امپیکٹ ہو رہی ہے آپ کا کام امپیکٹ ہو رہا ہے آپ کی صحت امپیکٹ ہو رہی ہے آپ کی سوشل لائف امپیکٹ ہو رہی ہے تو پلیز آپ اپنے فیملی ڈاکٹر سے کنسلٹ کریں یا پھر آپ کاؤنسلر کے پاس جائیں یا سائیکالوجسٹ کے پاس جائیں اور پی سی ایچ ایس ہم لوگ آپ کی خدمت کے لیے بیٹھے ہیں آپ ہمارے پاس آئیں اور ہمارا جتنا بھی اسٹاف ہے دے آر پروفیشنلی ٹرینڈ اور ہم اس کے لیے آپ کے ساتھ ضرور ہیلپ کرنے کی کوشش کریں گے اور ایک چیز اور میں چلتے چلتے آپ کو بتاتا چلوں روپ وہ یہ کہ وہ لوگ جو پہلے سے ڈائگنوزڈ ہے مینٹل ہیلتھ میں ڈپریشن انگزائٹی اسٹریس اینگر پھر اس کے بعد موڈ سوئنگ ایڈکشن فیملی کانفلکٹ او سی ڈی اپسیسو کمپلسو ڈس آڈر جو پہلے سے ڈائگنوز ہے اس سچویشن میں آ کے کرونا جو ہے جو پینڈامک سچویشن ان کو ٹریگر کر سکتی ہے I want to talk about kids in here as well. Um, I understand that you said that they are already susceptible and uh, problems. Career. But kids, mm-hmm. uh, for example, my daughter, she is nine years old. And uh, she's at home right now. And of course, there's no impact to her, right? Because she's not seeing her mm-hmm. friends. She's not seeing her peers. She's not uh, spending time with them. So she's on her phone the entire time. She's talking to them. But that personal connection doesn't have to be done. Of course, she gets impacted. right yes of course so of course that i, I it, what uh, really bothers me or what concerns me is what are the long term impacts of that uh roop isme ye hai ke main aage chal ke aapko na kuch tips bataunga usme se ho sakta hai ki aapko mere aapka jo question hai uska answer aapko mil jaye lekin ye depend karta hai parents pe ab mere bacche hain for example sir mere bhi chote bacche hain aapki beti ki tarah same age ka mera beta hai to ab uske zehn mein bhi aise hi hai موبائل ٹیپ کو پکڑ کے لگا رہتا ہے وہ لیکن بات یہ ہے کہ پہلا پوائنٹ یہ ہے کہ وی ہیو ٹو ایکسیپٹ یہ کرونا ہے یہ ہمیں امپیکٹ کر سکتا ہے اور یہ کر رہا ہے ٹھیک ہے اور دوسری بات یہ ہے کہ اس سے پہلے بہت سارے وائرسز آئے لیکن وہ نکل گئے وہ ہمارے ساتھ تو نہیں جڑے ٹھیک ہے اور یہ بھی نکل جائے گا اور کبھی بھی وقت ایک جیسا نہیں رہتا لیکن اب ڈپینڈ کرتا ہے کہ ہر بچے کی جو پرسنالٹی ہے وہ ڈفرینٹ ہے میں اپنے بیٹے کے بارے میں جانتا ہوں کیونکہ بچوں کا جو ہے اس میں میں میرا ایریا نہیں ہے کام کرنے کا میں ایڈلٹ کے ساتھ ہوں لیکن یہ کہ یہ پرسن ٹو پرسن ویری کرتا ہے لیکن سب سے پہلا جو اسٹیپ ہے وہ ایکنالج کرنا ہے اس کو ایکسیپٹ کرنا ہے کہ یہ چیز ہے جب ایکسیپٹ ہو جائے گا پھر اس کے بعد آپ کا فورٹی پرسینٹ تھرٹی پرسینٹ جو اسٹریس لیول خوش ہو جائے گا تو میں بات آپ سے کہہ رہا تھا کہ جو لوگ پہلے سے ڈائگنوز ہیں میری ان سے گزارش ہے کہ پلیز یہ ان کو ٹریگر کر سکتی ہے اگر یہ ٹریگر کرے ان کا جو پرابلم ہے وہ بڑھنا شروع ہو جائے تو پلیز اپنے فیملی ڈاکٹر یا اپنے سائیکالوجسٹ کے ساتھ کاؤنسلر کے ساتھ یا سائیکیٹرسٹ کے ساتھ جو ہے وہ کنسلٹ کریں پھر اس کے بعد جہاں مینٹل ہیلتھ ہے اس کے ساتھ ساتھ جو ایڈکشن ہے وہ لوگ جو ریکوری اسٹیج میں ہیں جو بالکل اس چیز سے باہر نکل چکے ہیں انہوں نے ڈرگ بالکل چلی ہے لیکن یہ جو کرنٹ سچویشن چل رہی ہے یہ ان کو ریلیپس کر سکتی ہے یا آن دا فلپ سائڈ جو لوگ ایڈکشن میں نہیں ہیں ان کو ایڈکشن پہ لگا سکتی ہے کیونکہ سم ٹائم جو ایڈکشن کا کارن ہے یا ریزن جو ہم شراب یا ڈرگ لیتے ہیں ایڈکٹ جب ہم ہوتے ہیں تو اس کا ایک کارن یہ بھی ہے کہ ہم اپنی مینٹل ہیلتھ کو تھوڑا سا اس سے بچنے کے لیے اس سے فرار حاصل کرنے کے لیے ہم شراب یا ڈرگ کا سہارا لیتے 
तो इसलिए इसको प्रॉपर वे में जो है इसको आप एक्सप्रेस कर सकते हैं आप अपने फैमिली मेंबर का बड़ा रोल है तो ये सारी चीजें हैं और मैं चलते चलते आखिर में अगर कुछ दो चार मिनट हैं तो मैं कुछ टिप्स आपको शेयर करूं या आपको टिप्स दूं इफ यू कैन टेल अस टिप्स दैट यू वर सेइंग दैट यू वर टॉकिंग अबाउट टिप्स टू मेंटेन योर मेंटल हेल्थ ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम स्पेशली अभी क्रिसमस आ रहा है क्रिसमस पे आई वाज टॉकिंग टू माय फ्रेंड यस्टरडे एंड शी इज लाइक ओह द आवर क्रिसमस गॉट स्टोलन सो लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर फीलिंग डिप्रेस्ड के क्रिसमस वाले दिन अपने क्रिसमस ईव वाले दिन अपने फैमिली के या नहीं जा सकते हैं आई रियली वांट टू गो टू माय मॉम्स हाउस बट आई डोंट थिंक आई कैन गो टू माय मॉम्स हाउस सो दैट आई व्हाट आर द टिप्स uh yes <laughs> knowledge that you don't know here but still at some level it just breaks your heart that you can't be with your family and you can't be with your loved ones right so yeah. uh how do you deal with that actually uh aroop ab ab dekhe na ke hum log pehle hum log baqaida taur pe ek radio ya tv pe jaake baat karte the lekin kafi arse ke baad aapki meri mulakat ho rahi hai chale mulakat ho to rahi hai na ये तो नहीं है ना कि एक बंदा दुनिया से हमेशा के लिए चला गया तो नहीं मुलाकात होगी लेकिन खुदा सब को जिंदगी दे तो सबसे पहली बात यह है कि गेट फ्लैक्सीबल के गेट फ्लैक्सीबल से मुराद ये कि सिर्फ आप नहीं है इसमें इस चीज को एक्सेप्ट करें पहली जो टिप है आपके लिए कि अपने आप को आप फ्लैक्सीबल रखें और इस चीज पे अपना फेथ रखें कि अच्छा वक्त आने वाला है ठीक है नंबर वन टिप दूसरी टिप ये है कि गेट ऑफ द डिवाइस अभी आपने बेटे की भी बात की ना कि वो टैप के साथ ये मैंने बेटे की भी बात की तो प्लीज अगर आपको लग रहा है कि ये किसी को ट्रिगर कर रही है ये पेंडामिक सिचुएशन तो प्लीज गेट ऑफ द डिवाइस और खासकर जो न्यूज है आपकी अगर आपको ट्रिगर कर रही है न्यूज सोशल मीडिया ये आपके स्ट्रेस लेवल को बढ़ाएंगे तो मेरी आपसे बेनती है मेरी आपसे रिक्वेस्ट है गुजारिश है कि प्लीज आप जो डिवाइसेस हैं इनसे अपने आप को थोड़ा सा दूर रखें अब एक सेकंड होल्ड करें आपको एक चीज दिखा रही हूं मैं जी जी जरूर गो ऑन लाइव वन सेकंड अह दैट्स माय डॉटर हम्म या या शी इज ऑन अ डिवाइस राइट नाउ या दैट्स आई थिंक आई थिंक Should I say this credit goes to you? <laughs> I I bring her with me and uh, no, no. yeah, it's right there. <laughs> But you have to be very careful, very careful. But anyways, yeah. so उसके बाद अगली चीज आएगी कि get connected. अब अपने दोस्तों के साथ जैसे आप अपने friend की अभी बात की ना कि आपकी जो friend है वो कह रही है कि जी हमारा Christmas क्या नहीं गया नहीं है कभी कभार ये जो लड़ाई झगड़े होते हैं ना प्यारे रिश्तों में ये कभी कभी आपको और करीब कर देते हैं. तो इसी तरह ये जो अभी एक पैंडमिक की सिचुएशन चल रही है थोड़ी सी बाहिर हमारी जो एक इन पर्सन डिस्टेंस है लेकिन ये कि आने वाले वक्त में हमारी मोहब्बतें हमारी चाहतें और बढ़ जाएंगी इसके साथ तो लिहाजा एक दूसरे के साथ आप गेट कनेक्टेड रहें फ्रेंड्स फैमिली और कोशिश करें कि एक दूसरे को हेल्प करें आप अगर कोई पेंडामिक सिचुएशन में स्ट्रगल कर रहा है लाइक किसी को कोविड हो गया उसको खाना दे के आए और उसकी जो भी हेल्प आप कर सकें ये चीज आपको एक शांति देगी एक सुकून देगी एक पीस ऑफ माइंड देगी फिर उसके बाद है कि गेट प्लान गेट प्लान ये है कि मैं अक्सर कहा करता हूँ अपने क्लाइंट से भी कि ये बहुत अच्छा टाइम आपके पास है अगर आप कोई एग्जाम वगैरह की तैयारी कर रहे हैं या कोई और आपका प्लान है तो दिस इज द बेस्ट टाइम जैसे आपने टीसी का प्लेटफॉर्म शुरू करना है जी जैसे टीसी सैन का प्लेटफॉर्म शुरू करना है जैसे हमने शुरू किया है दिस इज द बेस्ट टाइम फिर उसके बाद जो है अपना एक टाइम आप रखें कि आपने नाइन ओ क्लॉक काम शुरू करना है अगर घर से भी आप काम कर रहे हैं पांच बजे तक होता है क्या कि व्हेन वी वर्क फ्रॉम होम आते जाते हैं हम खाते पीते रहते हैं और बाद में कहते हैं यार हमारा तो वेट बढ़ गया है तो ये भी है तो अपना प्रॉपर एक रूटीन रखें जो आपकी जब आप वर्क ऑफिस में करते थे बिल्कुल वैसे ही आपने रूटीन रखनी है कि आप एक्सरसाइज भी करें बच्चों को भी टाइम दें और आई वुड से दिस इज द बेस्ट टाइम इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर योर एग्जाम ठीक है तो उसके बाद एक सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट और चीज है हेल्दी लाइफस्टाइल हेल्दी लाइफस्टाइल ये है कि आप अपनी नींद पूरी लें हेल्दी डाइट लें और एक्सरसाइज करें और एक्सरसाइज पे मैं ज्यादा फोकस करूंगा कि बहुत सारे आपके जो मानसिक प्रॉब्लम है जिस तरह डिप्रेशन है स्ट्रेस हो गया माइनर की मैं बात कर रहा हूँ ऑफकोर्स कुछ के लिए तो मेडिकेशन चाहिए लेकिन अगर कभी कभार आम जिंदगी में अगर आपको कुछ स्ट्रेस हो जाए 
एंगजाइटी हो जाए या कह लीजिए कि और कुछ मानसिक प्रॉब्लम अगर आपको माइनर है तो उसके लिए अगर आपको गुस्सा चढ़ रहा है तो उसके लिए जॉकिंग एक्सरसाइज इज द बेस्ट थिंग हेल्थी लाइफ स्टाइल में आपकी हेल्थी स्लीप हेल्थी डाइट और उसके बाद एक्सरसाइज इन तीन चीजों को आप रूटीन बना लें मैं आपको गारंटी देता हूं कि आपकी लाइफ और निखर जाएगी आप अपनी बॉडी के अंदर मेंटली फिजिकली और सोशली बिल्कुल लाइट फील करेंगे ठीक है फिर उसके बाद कोई अच्छी मूवी शूवी देखें जो दिस इज द बेस्ट टाइम अगर बाहर नहीं आप जा रहे तो अच्छी किताबें पढ़ें फिर उसके बाद अगर कहीं आपको जरूरत पड़े तो आप अपने हेल्थ प्रोफेशनल के साथ आप कांटेक्ट कर सकते हैं जिसमें मैंने पहले बताया कि पी जो है आपको हम बिल्कुल फ्री सर्विसेज देते हैं इन पर्सन नहीं है ऑनलाइन है जैसे रूप में और आप बात कर रहे हैं बिल्कुल ऐसे ही हम अपने क्लाइंट के साथ बात करते हैं जिसमें डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस है जिसके बाद एडिक्शन है मेंटल हेल्थ है पेरेंटिंग है ये सारे हम मेंटल हेल्थ से रिलेटेड हमारे ग्रुप्स भी हैं इन लाइक वन ऑन वन काउंसलिंग भी है तो आप हमारे पास आइए और डेफिनेटली फोन नंबर द फोन नंबर दैट पीपल कैन कांटेक्ट यू 5879312 remember jab hamara show hota tha long time ago um we started that show with the uh, jps olak previous <laughs> <laughs> olak yeah 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 of course yeah yeah the yeah. <laughs> number we used to yaad rehte the this yeah, yeah. uh you know program I- Uh, is sponsored by JPS. Oh, look, unka number blah 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 blah. blah. It was like, <laughs> yeah. so I'm gonna say that. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna so try yeah. that now. I'm gonna try that now. So if you have any concerns with uh, your mental health or you are concerned with mental health of a family member, please contact PCHS five eight seven nine 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 three one two. Say what? Yeah. या बिल्कुल बिल्कुल सही बोला सही बोला बिल्कुल सही बोला <laughs> उसके बाद मेंटल हेल्थ के अलावा अगर कोई एडिक्शन का है डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस है पेरेंटिंग है एंकर मैनेजमेंट है तो हम ऑलमोस्ट सभी सर्विसेज जो है ना पीसीएचएस आपको दे रहा है और बिल्कुल फ्री है कपल काउंसलिंग भी कपल काउंसलिंग के हम कुछ चार्ज करते हैं लेकिन अगर कोई क्लाइंट ना अफोर्ड कर सके तो हम वो भी वेव कर देते हैं वेल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बीइंग हियर सुजात सबसे अच्छी बात है कि वी वी स्पीक योर लैंग्वेज and exactly and it's already again yeah culture specific uh, social services but yeah, thank, thank you, you so much i really really am honored to have you here and i'm pretty sure ke aage chal ke bhi koi na koi topic aisa aa jayega inshallah i'll keep calling you and uh, i just want to tell you ki i agree with your tips uh, jo aapne tips diye hain kyunki humne jab ye shuru kiya tha so at first i was thinking main basement mein kamra theek karke main wahi baith ke kar liya karunga yeah i mean it's just a laptop and a webcam right so it's not really mm-hmm. a big deal i don't need to come out yeah. but then i mean uh, it just it just didn't seem like i was doing something right it just felt like i was just going downstairs to the basement and it just didn't uh, change my mental state in any way so yeah. i figured that okay let's go out let's set the room up somewhere else let's find an office and we will do these very good very good cast from there and it's more so for my mental health yeah. as yeah. opposed yeah. to yeah. Yeah. um and this is something i enjoy doing and this is i'm glad that i'm able to have conversations with people like yourself and learn from you as well at the same time and put this out there and uh hopefully in due time you know things will sure change and uh and we will be back to uh off the laptops and meet each other in person and i can definitely wait. definitely bas wahi baat hai ki ye sab log zehn mein rakhein ki ye waqt nahi rahega yeah theek hai aur ye ye waqt bhi guzar jayega और एक अच्छा वक्त आने वाला है अच्छे दिन आने वाले हैं अच्छे दिन आने वाले हैं आप मोदी जी की लाइन यूज कर रहे हैं नहीं ये ये मेरा अपना स्कूल ऑफ थॉट है कि अच्छे दिन इंशाल्लाह आएंगे और ये वक्त भी नहीं रहा और अच्छा वक्त जरूर आएगा होप कर रही है और एक शेर सुना दो और हम फिर एंड करते हैं इसको सज्जाद मिर्जा के मिर्जा के स्टाइल में एक शेर हो जाए ये वो शेर है कि आपने हमें बुलाया और हम आ गए कि आवाज दे के छुप गई हर बार जिंदगी आवाज दे के छुप गई हर बार जिंदगी हम ऐसे सादा दिल थे कि हर बार आ गए हम सर फिरे चिराग के जब भी हवा चली ताकों को छोड़कर सरे दीवार आ गए
Okay, Rup, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I really appreciate it for inviting me. And next time for sure, we will come with another topic. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Thank Take you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.